in our section of short stories, we always try to bring stories of people who are so inspirational that motivate us to achieve something big in our life, not in monetary terms but to bring the change in society we live. This time we are sharing the story of Indra Nuri who is a successful businesswoman and her life is full of inspiration. Born and brought up in conservative Tamil Brahmin family, Nuri's was always high in life. The seeds of success and achievements were sown in childhood only, when her mother used to assign an unusual task to her and her sister. Recalling her childhood days she said, every night at the dinner table, my mother would ask us to write a speech about what we would do if we were president, chief, minister, or prime minister, every day would be a different world leader she'd ask us to play. At the end of dinner, we had to give the speech, and she had to decide who she was going to vote for. Not only this, her grandfather also used to make her write, I will not make excuses every time she failed complete the task assigned by him. These were some little things that made her to dream big and feel confident to think outside the box. Since her childhood, she was one of those children who believe in breaking the barriers and make their own path despite being born in conservative family. Though having great academic records, she faced some problem to go abroad for pursuing further studies, as her mother wanted her to get married at the age of 18. She explains the critical situation of her life, stating, they were in sort of a dilemma, how do we send this young girl off to the state? S. Who's unmarried? Because once she goes unmarried, she's not marriageable at all. Nobody will marry her because she's now gone alone to the states. So there was a big family meeting, everybody got together, should we send her or not? I was going anyway. This was the biggest hurdle of her life but after that she never looked back and did her further studies from Yale University. Her first job at Johnson & Johnson was a great experience for her, where is asked to market sanitary napkins in India, which is a taboo here but she perfectly did her job. Now she is the first female CEO of PepsiCo and has been ranked number one consistently on the fortune list of most powerful women in business. She has been awarded by the Padma Bhushan in 2007.